Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to find the angle between the hands of a clock. To understand this concept, we need to know a few basic things about a clock. Whole circle which is equal to 360 degrees. Also, one rotation means 12 hours. So in 12 hours, hands covers the total angle of 360 degrees. So for one hour, the degree covered will be 360 divided by 12 which is equal to 30 degrees. So in one hour, the angle covered by the hour hand or the clock is 30 degrees. Similarly, we can find the angle covered by the minute hand of the clock. So one rotation is 360 degrees. For one rotation, there are 60 minutes. 60 minutes is equal to 360 degrees. So in one minute, the angle covered will be 360 divided by 60 which is equal to 6 degrees. So one hour, the angle covered is 30 degrees and in one minute, the angle covered is 6 degrees. So these are the two basic things we are going to use to find the angle between the clock hands. So let's start with our first example where the time has been given as 9 o'clock. First one, 9 o'clock. That means hour is 9 and minute is 0. We know that in one hour the angle made is 30 degrees. So for 9 hours the angle made will be 9 times 30 which is equal to 270 degrees. So here this is 9 o'clock. Angle made is this one which is 270 degrees. In our next example where the time is 6 o'clock. So the hour hand is at 6. So hours is 6 and minute hand. So we can find the angle for 6 hour as 6 times 30 degrees which is equal to 180 degrees. So here we see the angle made. So these are the two examples in which the minute's hand is at 12 or we can say is angle made by the minute hand is 0 degree. Now let's try few more examples where the time is in hours and minutes both. Now let's consider an example where the time given is 3 hours 20 minutes. For this calculation, we need to understand that the hour hand also moves for 20 minutes. It's not only the minute hand which moves, it also the hour hands which move for 20 minutes. So we have to consider the movement of both the hands for calculation of hour angle. So the formula for this is hour plus minute divided by 60 degrees cause one rotation is 60 minutes multiply by 30 cause it is making an angle of 30 degrees per hour so here as our time is 320 so we will write 3 hours 3 full hours plus 20 minutes which is part of the 60 minutes multiply by 30 so this will become 3 plus 1 by 3 multiply by 30 which is equal to 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 by 3 multiply by 30 which gives us this is 3 times 10 so 10 times 10 degrees is 100 degrees so our hand will make an angle of 100 degrees now we have to consider the minute hands angle too so our time given is 3 hours 20 minutes hour we calculated as 100 degrees now we have to calculate the angle made by minutes hand so one minute it is making an angle of 6 degrees so for 20 minutes the angle will be 20 multiplied by 6 degree which is equal to 120 degrees so this is for minutes we have hour angle we have minute angle now to find the final angle between the hands of the clock we have to take the absolute value of the difference between angle made by our hand and angle made by the minute hand. So absolute value of our hand angle is 100 degrees minus minute hand is 120 degrees. 
we are taking the absolute value cause the angle will always be a positive angle so 100 minus 120 is 20 degrees so the angle made between the hands of the clock when the time is 3 hours 20 minute is 20 degrees let's try one more example of this kind so the calculation is more clear to us so in this case we are taking time as 8 hours 40 minutes first we'll find the angle for hours so the angle for hours is hour plus minute by 60 multiply by 30 degrees which is equal to we have 8 hours here 8 hours plus 40 minutes so 40 minute divided by 60 multiply by 30 degrees so this will become 8 plus 2 by 3 multiply by 30 which is equal to 26 by 3 multiply by 30 which is equal to 3 times 1 and 3 times 10 this is 260 degrees angle made by the hour hand is 260 degrees next we'll find the angle made by the minute hand which is minutes multiply by 6 degree cause every minute it is making 6 degree angle so we have 40 minutes multiply by 6 degree which is equal to 240 degrees so the angle made by minute hand is 240 and angle made by the hour hand is 260 so the final angle between the hands is equal to absolute value of hour minus minute angle so we have hour angle as 260 degree and minute angle as 240 degree which is equal to 20 degrees so the angle made between the hands of the clock when the time is 8 hours 40 minutes is 20 degrees let's try one more example for 7 hours 25 minutes so the angle made by the hour hand is hour plus minute hand divided by 60 multiply by 30 degrees which is equal to 7 hour plus minute is 25 minutes divided by 60 multiply by 30 degrees so this is equal to 7 plus 5 times 5 and 5 times 12 5 by 12 multiply by 30 which is equal to 12 times 7 is 84 plus 5 divided by 12 multiply by 30 which gives us 89 times 30 degrees divided by 12 this comes out to be 6 times 2 and 6 times 5 which is equal to 222.5 this is the angle made by our hand now we'll find the angle made by the minute hand minute hand is minute times 6 degrees which is equal to 25 times 6 degree which gives us 150 degrees so the angle made by the minute hand is 150 angle made by the hour hand is 222.5 so the final angle between the hands of the clock is hour minus minute absolute value so the difference is 222.5 degrees minus 150 degrees which is equal to 72.5 degrees this is our final answer so let's take a recap of the method we are using here we know that one rotation is 360 degree as there are 12 hours in the clock and for movement of one hour the angle made is 360 divided by 12 hand moves 30 degree every hour so we have find the hour angle by adding the hour plus minute hand angle which gives us the angle made by the hour hand and for the minute hand we know that as there are 60 minute for one rotation which is equal to 360 degree which gives us 6 degree per minute so we can find the angle made by the minute hand by multiplying it by 6 degree and then for the final angle between the two hands we have to take the absolute value of our minus minute hand angle which gives us the final angle 
So I hope this video is helpful to you and you can easily find the angle be between the hands of the clock. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.